Hey everyone, if you enjoyed this video, do make sure to like and subscribe and come hang out with us in Discord. Welcome Volcarona fans. Uh, week 5 is upon us here and we have a very tough opponent in Alex, the reigning Premier League champion with his uh, York White Roses. What an amazing logo that is. Whoever designed that, oh, they should be getting paid for their work. Um, but um, this... This match here is one that I've been looking forward to a bit. Um, not because it's going to be easy. It's obviously going to be very tough. I've struggled a bit with doing a team build for this one. Alex, unlike my some of my previous opponents, um, knows, what, knows the motto of using every member of your team. As you can see by the games played, we have both used everything in our roster. He does only have 10 slots as opposed to our 11, so... Hopefully we have a little, a little advantage there, but his team is nonetheless terrifying with Terra Flygon, Bayleaf, Toxapex, Duraludon, uh, Terra Okidogi or Okidori as some others have named it, the Grass Poison Fighting Fairy, all types except what it actually is, um, Ursa Luna Blood Moon, Yan Mega, Latios, Iron Bundle, and regular Samurott, you know them. So, immediately I'm thinking the win con for us is Salamence. Um, I think it does really well here. There's no Dragon Resist before Terra. Uh, Frostmoth also does really well. So there's our two Terra options that both do considerably well going into this matchup. Um, my main issue with Frostmoth is its speed, obviously. It's a little slow, slower than everything uh, except the bottom three. But um, the thing about that is even after a Quiver Dance, we are outsped by Iron Bundle with an energy booster and he can run Encore or Taunt. Um, so that puts a bit of a stop to that one. I do expect... Iron Bundle with Encore Taunt, maybe Freeze Dry and Insert Water Move here. Maybe Flip Turn um, to come. I also expect Latios to come. It's a bit of... Uh, I don't want to say it's an issue, but I don't have a lot of switch-ins. I can probably switch in once um, with Treads if that chooses to come, uh, but it probably doesn't want to take a Surf. I think a Specs Latios is... Not great for us. Um, like I said, we do have some things that can potentially... I mean, if he specs, at least he's locked into something. But, yeah, it's just... It's not a Mon that I do very well against. I'm hoping some trades between now and the end of the season can help rectify that. Or maybe I'm missing something in my team build. Please, maybe not the comment section below because Alex may see this, but maybe just DM me uh, if I have a... Uh, Latios answer in my team that I can't see right now. <laughs> um, but I also like the look of uh, Diancy just so he can't lock himself into Draco Meteors or Dragon Pulses. So that's going to make an appearance. Um, Overquill is good for... Um, what is Overquill good for here? I did bring it for something specific. Um... I can't remember. We'll have to have a look at it. It might just be general bulk. Um, I like Graferi here. He doesn't have a lot of hazard removal, but I'm thinking he might run some heavy-duty boots. And that's the thing with Bundle. If it doesn't have the booster energy, then it has to have boots. And I think boot he probably should bring boots here, but he also needs the booster energy in case Frostmoth gets going, or even Salamence as well. So... It'll be interesting to see what he does there. Um, Dragon Dance Flygon is terrifying. Uh, Okie Dogi, uh, I mean, it's it's there. I don't have a Psychic type, but I think I have enough answers to deal with it just over time. Graferi with Parting Shot is going to be really annoying for Okie Dogi to deal with. Uh, I also do have the Kilowattro, which can do some damage to it. I think, I think we'll be okay there as long as we're not missing any moves or anything like that. Um, Basque Legion's actually riding the bench this week. Um, I think there's... It, look, you're probably looking at the team matchup here and thinking, wow, why would you bench Basque Legion? 
I'm hoping he over preps for it. And I actually struggle against the tops of packs a little bit. And I don't know, he can just kind of stall me out and haze and recover and stuff. I just, I want to see if that team can do well without Vassy Legion. Um, so Iron Treads is also riding the bench and Broloom still has not recovered from the ACL injury in week one. Um, but Bayleaf's obviously the team captain of this squad and terrifying as well. Bayleaf, I mean, it's it's definitely one at least one match for Alex, I believe, again in week one against Cam. And who knows, it may do something here as well. At Leech Seed, it's going to be super annoying. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the squad we're bringing here. Okay, so this is what we're rocking out with here. Like I said, Breloom is still hurt, so not in the lineup. It's still sitting on just uh, one game, six kills, and zero deaths, but we're saving him for the finals. Um, I'm thinking Alex may over-prep for Breloom a little bit, and he has enough answers to it as well. But um, we have your sale here. We're actually going Terra Grass. Um, I really, really thought about going with Terra Electric. Um, but I think Grass does well, and I'm just seeing now Terra Blast and Giga Drain. That's not great. So no coverage moves <laughs> outside of Grass and Ice. Um, but we have the Mental Herb for that Encore and Taunt Iron Bundle set that I mentioned earlier. Um, bit of an oversight here, and my team is locked. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but Frostmoth has the potential after just one... Uh, Quiver Dance to do really well here. Um, Quiver Dance, Ice Beam, Terra Blast, Grass, annoyingly, and Giga Drain. Uh, I probably should have had Bug Buzz or some other coverage move, but you know, we'll see. I think this will do just fine, hopefully. Uh, we now have Lauren, our wing. This is our wing con here. I'm planning to, because after a. When I Terra Flying for the dual wing bait boost, I don't think. Well, I can tell you now, the Iron Bundle definitely does not kill me with Freeze Dry, and it's a very low chance roll with Ice Beam as well. So um, the plan is to get one Dragon Dance up and then press Outrage a lot. <laughs> um, I believe you can mid Outrage Terror as well, so that should be fine, just in case the Iron Bundle comes out with the Energy Booster. But we have Outrage, Dragon Dance, Dual Wing Beat, and Roost just for longevity with the Lumberry. Um, I'm, I'm excited for this one. This could be Lauren's moment to shine here. I think it could sweep, potentially, but fingers crossed we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we then have Wally, our killer watcher, who has been pretty good this season. Uh, he's rocking the Expert Belt, just for some added damage, with um, Air Slash and Discharge being super effective and it's a lot. We have the U-turn just so he can't switch into the Flygon and, you know, get some momentum that way. Uh, we also have Tailwind, which I've learnt with Wind Power actually just gives you the charge. So I believe we get a special defense boost and then our next electric move is also boosted. So it's a bit different to Shift Trees and um, Bramble Ghast, which I learnt this week. So Tailwind Wind Power is actually on the cards for Wally moving forward. Um, kind of just a pivot and annoying type thing. The Tailwind setting up for everything else, but um, Air Slash could play a big role against the Bailey and also the Okie Dogie. Um, yeah, pretty standard. Well, I don't want to say standard, it's actually somewhat unique. It probably looks more like a VGC set than anything. <laughs> um, Margo, the Diancie, is back with the Air Balloon, obviously immune to both of Flygon Stabs. Um, there was another ground type thing that, oh, I had a title that I didn't do either, but, um, pretty, pretty defensive, uh, high defense and HP and Calm Mind. I don't know about this set. I think maybe, um, maybe it might have been better or even Rock Polish, but I'm really hoping with the Tailwind that Margo can potentially do some work here. At worst, Stealth Rock's really hurt his team and he has no hazard removal. So yeah, Margo's here um, just to stop the dragon moves and also potentially wall Flygon, although I know it gets Iron Head and Steel. Well, I don't know if it gets Iron Head, but it definitely gets Steel Tail or Iron Tail, sorry, whoops. 
um, Pablo's back with the Citrus Berry to pop for Acrobatics. This is just to kind of be annoying here. Parting Shots, Acrobatics, Knock Off and Encore. Hopefully we can lock something into something and then, you know, force a switch and then press Parting Shot and we get momentum. That's kind of the plan here. Um, nothing else in particular really. Acrobatics kind of hits a lot of things on his team and yeah, Parting Shot Encore is just there for obvious reasons with Prankster. And finally we have Mrs. Puff here with the Loaded Dice Scale Shot set. So, after Scale Shot, this, out, this actually outspeeds everything that isn't Scarf or Booster Energy. And then we can get Destiny Bond off. The Crunch and Bar Barrage actually do a lot to everything he has as well. So, potentially a big game for Mrs. Puff here. Um, quite an offensive set. Uh, high attack there and obviously a bit of speed as well and the resting HP. Um, this will be our toughest game of the season so far for sure. Alex is one of, if not the best battler in the server in my opinion. He's, I always love our matches. We usually match up in week two of every Premier League, but this is week five this time. So yeah, I'm excited for this one and um, best of luck to Alex. And we will jump, I will pause here and we'll jump straight into the battle after this. So see you soon. Welcome back, Volcarona fans. Um, we are here waiting for Alex to give me the all clear to start searching. Uh, he has told us that he has Terra, uh, Terra Fighting, uh, Oki Dory. Nah, it's Oki Dory. That was a shout out to my good friend Pi. Oki Dory, the Grass Poison Fighting and Fairy type. Um, and he also has Flying Flygon, putting the fly in the Flygon, which we love. Um, so, coming from our team preview, if you have, if you did skip to this point, that's totally fine. But the team we are working with is Frostmoth, Terra Grass, Salamence, Terra Flying, um, Overquill, Diancy. Jeez, I don't even know anymore. Um, <laughs> uh, can't actually remember. Uh, we have Graffari, Pablo, and Kilowattrel, I believe. So some of our big names are taking a break this week. Um, but, you know, again, more chances for other people to shine. So just letting him know that we are searching now. Good luck to Alex. This should be a good game. I'm pretty excited for this one. Uh, I did procrastinate making the team for a while. <laughs> I, I don't know, Alex's team's interesting. He struggles with hazards, but I don't really want to bring hazards against him. It's very strange. Um, Premier League champion as well, so... Uh, oh, I did not get my note that out. Whoops. I'll do it quickly, maybe. Oh, quick, title. quick, quick, quick. Pull the notes out. Uh, okay, so he's got Yarn Mega, Bayleaf, of course, um, Flygon, Oki Dory, and Bloody Os and Bundle. Okay, so Yarn Mega, Bundle, uh, Flygon. Sorry, I'm just quickly writing all these down. Bayleaf. Okie Dory, uh, Latios, and that's it. Okay, um, I think we're going to look to lead with the. Uh, let's go Kilowatt Troll. Uh, actually, now let's go. Hmm. Let's go Pablo. Let's go Pablo, we can just parting shot out and see what he what he rolls with. Um, yeah, like I said, I I don't know about this matchup, but you know, we we need this win to secure the buy. So fingers crossed we uh, managed to get the W here. Okay, so he goes with this thing. Uh, this could have Guard Dog. Um, I'm trying to think how that works. <laughs> uh, 
If I lower its stats, does it go up? I might just quickly look this up on my phone here. Uh, I think it's immune to intimidate, but I don't know how it works for Arnie Shot. Guard dog. Immune to intimidate, cannot be forced to switch out. Okay. Uh, so we can freely parting shot here and just see what it goes for. Okay. So he's at minus one. Uh, we could probably just go into Killer Watch Roll. See what he wants to do. He might knock off actually. Um, let's go into. Hmm, maybe Diane's is the play. He didn't terror. No, I'm gonna go kill a Watcher. See what he does. Oh, perfect. So he has high horsepower. Uh, I assume he might switch here, or maybe even look to set up. He could be Assault first. Um, Air Slash is pretty good though. I think I'm going to set up a Tailwind, and then... No, I'm... Into this though. Doesn't really have one. I might just go for the air slash. This should do about 50. Okay, so he does switch. Goes into fly on. How much did that do? That did almost half. Was that a crit? I was not looking. Um, okay, so we can U-turn here out into Diancy, which I believe has a air balloon. So this is a pretty good switch into this. Let's U-turn. Shouldn't do much, maybe 10 to 15. But, unless he's got Iron Head, I dare say, does he go for a Dragon Moon? Yeah, I think about 10. <sighs> it's so obvious, he's probably going to U-turn. I might actually go into Pablo here. Let's go into Pablo, he definitely didn't EQ. Okay, so he does do some. Oh, that does a lot, man. Okay, that's a crit. Jeez, that still did a lot though, is that banded? I'm really surprised at how much that did. <laughs> what is this? Down mega. Uh, sadly, we just didn't get into our um, citrus range, so I don't know if acrobatics will get the kill. Um, it's just fighting show again. No reason not to. He likes to run Specs U-turn, so this is actually quite scary. <laughs> um, and I don't know if Killer Watch will see the answer here. Maybe Overcoil? Even that's a mm, Tinted Lens is so scary. Let's... 
don't want to break that sash yet. Oh, let's go into Wally. It's the most expendable. Oh, you turn. Man, that does a lot. Tinted lens. <laughs> Minus one attack. U turn still did a lot. <laughs> okay, so it goes into this thing. Um, possibly Scarf. If it's Scarf, I just I, do, I can't really do much about it. Um, I'm going to U-turn. Let's U-turn. Hopefully it's not Scar. Very well put me though. Anything is that Scar. Okay, so it's not Scar. That's a good chunk. Uh, who wants to take a Draco to the face? <laughs> I mean, the, the Diancy switch is so obvious. Could last a purge. How does Overclaw go over here? It does not take Draco maybe very well. But if he goes for Draco, then I can set up with something. Wets? Let's go for this. I'm going to assume he thinks the switch to Diane's is really obvious. Perfect. Um, okay. I don't know what he can really- I mean... Draco Meteor still hurts here. I still want to do this though, because if he gets a kill with Draco, I can just go into Frostmoth and set up. Let's do it. Okay, so he does withdraw. He doesn't have any berry types, so this should be pretty good here. Man, and we are loaded dice, so this should get a few times. Jeez, that thing's bulky. Five hits does about 30%. Um, high horsepower will probably kill. I am tempted though. Oh, it's just like Do I reveal this? Maybe we Destiny Bond and just accept this thing's gonna die. Let's do it. I'll take this trade. Ah. Well, it'll make him think about going for it now. Good bar barrage. He could set up though. That's bar barrage. Nothing really wants to take a bar barrage. Oh no, that's so bad. Oh no, that's bad. Okay, let's go into this. Get 
press botting shot again. It's probably gonna knock off. He can knock off the still a lot true. Last time? Yeah, no, not that one again. Fly bomb. Let's. Yeah, let's go for the tower. I threw with that destiny bond, I couldn't just spam it. Or does it not work twice in a row? I don't even remember. I think he's gonna switch, but what to? Do we get a free tail in here? He goes into bay, like, interesting. Like, normally this is physically defensive. I wonder what it can do to me. Mm. I think I live any hit here. I don't know what he wants to do. This is set up fodder. Well, it's not set up fodder, but it's kind of things that don't mind switching into that. Let's just go for air slash, I think. Oh no. I think that would have done about 70% then. Oh, that's a nightmare. Okay, now we get turn. That sucks. Uh. <sighs> okay, it's fine. We can come back from this. <sighs> We're going to Brackerai now. Citrus, so now Acrobatics is strong. Uh, this can't do a whole lot to me. I'm tempted to press knockoff. Presuming he'll switch into Oki Dory. So. Um, yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Let's knock off. I'd love him to go into Lardy. I maybe should have pressed acrobatics. Okay, so high horsepower is not gonna tip all he might. Over predict that I'll go for drain punch. Which will probably still kill me anyway. <laughs> Let's 
guy for this. Honestly, it could have Iron Head too. Just, you know, I made a bit of trouble here. That, the Bailey missed through and off, threw me off a bit. I might just have to let this fall. Get the rocks up. Leo, no flinch. Nice. That could be big actually, getting those rocks up. Ah, uh, we're gonna go down. Um, not a whole lot we can do about it. No reason not to press iron head again. That works too. Okay, now we need to deal with this thing and deal with it quickly. Um, it doesn't have its assault vest anymore. Kill it, which will do a lot. Don't miss your ass slash again, please. Okay, good chip. Knock off time there. Okay, so Victoria's got three now. Bit of a problem here. Um, we could go out to this. Get a Moxie. That might be what I do actually. Maybe just press Dragon Dance. Let's do it. He'll probably go into Bundle. And then we just go into... Um, Um, cross mob if that happens. So let's dragon dance. Or do we outrage? Let's dragon dance. Hopefully he stays in goes for knockoff or something. This is a big call here. He's just as likely to stay in because bundle. Ah, if he goes into bundle and it's booster, he's gonna want to Ooh, I know this isn't Scar. Okay. Okay, we're cooking here. Um. So this is happening. Bundle is not booster energy. Booster energy speed. We could be real good here. The Latios, Latios gone is a big tick for us. Damn it! 
Damn it, Alex! <laughs> oh, I can't Terra? Damn, I'm gonna die here. Oh, if I could Terra, I might have been able to live. Unless it's Ice Beam. Ice Beam will probably kill the Freeze Dry, might not have. <laughs> Damn. Ah, oh, it's gonna kill because I can't Terra. Um... Let's think about this for a second. We go into this, and we press Parting Shot. <coughs> Flip Turn would be a good play by him here. Hello, those rocks. Look, Frostmoth's the win con now. Definitely. I probably only need one. Ah, uh, one boost. Just sweet. This shouldn't do much. At minus one. But I've got the mental herb. Uh, the issue now is that we could. I mean, we set up on daily, right? We could. It's not drink kill. It should, right? After this, um, but Ross Moth gets a kill. Okay, so it's 4v2. We're not looking great, <laughs> but crazy things have happened. I'm trying to think what I can actually set up on here. Not this, I don't think. Don't think I can set up on this one. Ah, that's a good move. That might be the game. That might be the game. It is terrifying dual wing bait. That's probably gonna be. My only hope is to go into this and because I need to, I need to press Quiver Dance once. I need to press Quiver Dance once. I have to do this. If it's Dragon Dance, I lose. If it's Dual Wing Beat, I lose. If it's Scale Shot, I lose. Yeah. Angry. Even Terra Flying is probably enough, honestly. Ah, I was so close to going Terra Electric too. Ah, then just press EQ, I guess. Yeah. Oh, good game, Alex. The taunt was a great bring. Frostmoth has to live for this. We gotta, we gotta dodge. We gotta dodge. What is it, 90% chance? Gotta dodge. Good game, Alex. Uh, thoroughly outplayed me. Yeah. Um, so we move to. that 4 and 1, and Alex gets a B. 4. 
4-0 victory. Um, so yeah, the team has some holes. This is the first time we've really been exposed. We missed an air slash and kind of got thrown off by that, but that's definitely not how we lost. Alex deserved that win. He thoroughly outplayed me. Um, so good game and um, look forward to seeing you all next week. Cheers.